Welcome back to another episode of Video City TV, y'all. We are live here at the Producers Club. I'm your host, Callie Ann, and I'm here with Billy the Kid who just flew in from Canada. Literally just flew in, then came to set. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm lit. You know Yo, I mean? welcome to New York. Yeah, you got I'm, your drink. Yes, I did. I you ready to explore it. New York? Yes, I am. Nice. Yeah, I'm ready to go, ready to go. All right, so we from Canada. Yes, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, me, um, my name is Billy the Kid. I formerly went by the name of uh, Black Sage. I okay. changed my name like five, six years ago. I'm um, just rebranding myself and okay. I basically come with a new sound and new flavor of music. Ooh. Um, I'm not only an artist, I'm a businessman. Also, I'm a father. You mm. know what I mean? Um, yeah. Um, I, I've been living in Canada. I, be, I was born and raised in Canada. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no. So so tell us real quick why you went from Black Sage mm. to Billy the Kid. Black Sage, I don't know if you kind of get the sediment from the name, but it was more, uh, it was, my music was more retrospective and it was more deep and whatnot. And it was, tell you the truth, it was more personal. I was, uh, Black Sage, I was creating music for myself, finding myself in that stage. And Billy the Kid is more of an entertainer. You know what I mean? Okay. Making music for the people and just having fun with it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So how long have you been doing music for? You know, all my life, to be honest, but professionally, I, um, since I was like 16 years old. Wow, all yeah. your life. Yes, what got you into it? You have any influences in your household growing up? To be honest, um, when I when I was young, I had cancer. Really? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, um, I had cancer when I was like four years old, so I, I kind of like was the black sheep mm. in every situation, and um, music was my outlet in a sense. You know what I mean, I had a lot going on in my head. Yeah. And it was just. It was just kind of fun seeing people's response to what, yeah. you know, I felt, wow. actually I just fell in love with the creation process. Yeah. Like taking the idea from my head and then putting it down on paper and then actually recording it and then feeling it. You know what yeah. I mean? Not only you're hearing it, you're feeling it. So it's kind of like you, you're creating and giving life to something. It was, it was dope. Yeah. You know? yeah. Wow. Okay, so you said you went professionally at 16 years old. Yes, ma'am. What was that moment like for you when you decided, this is what I'm going to do? Um, and why did you decide that? I was 13, but I, I can remember, I, used to, I grew up in a, in a uh, um, basically a rural area, area called uh, Rexdale in Toronto. It's yeah. a, very, a notorious area, and I, I was expelled from all the schools. What? <laughs> yeah. Were you a bad kid growing up? I wasn't bad. I, I'll say I was misunderstood. You know okay. I mean? and, yeah, I was misunderstood. And um, so I got expelled for, from all the schools in that area. And um, we moved to the suburbs in Ajax. And I remember the first day I moved down there, uh, the first thing I said to this kid, I'm like, you got Sega Genesis? <laughs> you know, and we bonded. And he, mm -hmm. he's like, um, he told me he was a DJ. Okay. Yeah, and then he brought me to his crib and he started DJing, uh, playing instrumentals. And as soon as I started freestyling it was like I fell in love with it, it was, yeah it was like the duality of man it was it was almost like a different person wow rapid. yeah it was so wow what was that like for you the first time you went into the studio it was ner it was nerve-wracking to be honest it was nerve-wracking it was nerve-wracking but um the end result was it was it was like a I was addicted yeah yeah it was dope because like I said man it, it, you're giving life to something. It's not only you're hearing it, you're feeling it. And that was something that came out of your head and you put on paper. So it was just, yeah. it was a beautiful experience. Yeah. Wow. When you do your process and your creative process and your writing, mm. what goes first? The concept or the music? Is or this, is what's this, it for you? To be honest, it's different every time. It's kind of like when you meet people, you know? Sometimes it's, um, like when I hear a beat, sometimes the, the beat alone will create a feeling and that will give an idea or... No, yeah. detail topic, but um, a lot of times, sometimes even just the name of the beat, you'll be stuck, you don't know what to write about, and you kind of pay attention to what the, the name of the beat because that's what the producer was feeling when he created it, right? Yeah. So you kind of pay attention to that and um, go off of that, but sometimes as an artist, you don't listen to the beat at all. You just kind of write something and have the beat created. Yeah. around it and I tell you the truth that's the truest way to find your style your sound you know because mm -hmm. it's not influenced by nothing else other than you right yeah so tell you the truth when it comes down to music there's it, there's no one way for me to create yeah I'm, I'm truly a, a freestyle artist 
So you like to freestyle about anything? Yo, I love it. You know Yo, I mean? can I give you like a subject to oh. freestyle about and can you uh, freestyle oh. real quick? About Video City. Oh, man. Nah, give it. We, 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 we're going to do that right now. We're going to do that right now because it's going to go on for longer than 15 minutes. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> All right. Well, so we're really happy to have you here in Video City. And thank you for sharing like your journey you know, on here as an artist. So what is next? Do you have any upcoming projects, shows, or anything? Yeah, right now I'm actually working on my album. And um, this is one of the singles that um off of it. It's called Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Check it out on hey. all major streaming platforms. Um, you know Feng Shui, right? Feng Shui, like, like the balance, right? The or, balance, or like... the vibe, the flow of things, the mm -hmm. energy of things, right? So I don't know if I think you remember um, Kendrick Lamar. He had a song called um, uh, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe or something like uh -huh, that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So 2024, Billy the Kids come with Don't Fuck With My Feng Shui. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you could curse on this. Uh, yes, platform. absolutely. All right, all right, yeah. So don't fuck with my feng shui. <laughs> I already know what it is. Um, yeah, and it's it's really um we're having fun with it, but on a serious note, mm -hmm. it's all about protecting your energy. It's yeah. All about protecting your mind, protecting your your spirit. You know what I mean? And um, we kind of we're kind of playing around with it, but it's absolutely a, a serious thing, especially in these times. Yeah. You know what I mean, sometimes you just gotta turn the TV off. You know, you gotta you gotta press mute on those calls. You know what I mean? And and, and put put your health first. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't fuck with my feng shui. I'm trying to stay healthy 2024 and beyond, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with my feng shui. Yes, That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what made you um, feel like you needed to write a song like that? Do you feel like somebody was fucking with your feng shui and you had to yeah. put that message out there? Yeah, daily. Daily happens on a daily, you know what I mean? And mm. um, sometimes yeah. it's just it's your responsibility, you know what I mean, to control... That's why it, it, that's the dope thing about feng shui. That's why we use it in the, in, in the way that we're using it because, like feng shui is like the way how you arrange your home, right? Yeah. To control the flow of energy. Sometimes you gotta control the way how you arrange the people that surround you. You gotta control the way how you the situation that you put yourself in. You gotta control everything, really, truly. Once, yeah. Once you take that responsibility and realize your responsibility, it's a whole new ball game, and I mean, and um. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, so Feng Shui, that's that's one of the lead singles off of my album coming up. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, have a, I I released a, a single last month um, called that Episode Featuring Exentry. Yeah. That's, you can find that also on all major streaming platforms. Yeah, yo, make yeah. sure you yeah, check that out. Make sure you follow Billy the Kid's journey. He has some new upcoming music coming yes, out. Yes, and it's super exciting, yes, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and yes, I bet you've created so much music since you were 13, yeah. you know, just yeah. making music back yeah. to back to yeah. back to yeah. back. Yeah. 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 Freestyling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, did, we 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 done a lot. We had a lot a little, little uh, a lot of commercial success as well. Yeah, you know what I mean, and I'm just grateful. Yeah, um, to be able to kind of reinvent myself and, and 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 come back the way how I'm coming back. Like um, I wouldn't even say back because I didn't really leave. Yeah. But um, a lot of people have a hard time integrating and, and introducing themselves, and um, I commend anybody that's taking on that 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 task you know what i'm saying and yeah for me myself it was kind of like nerve-wracking because you no know, you did it once you pulled out and it's not easy as an artist as you know yeah so starting from from ground zero, so you're starting the whole branding process all over again and it was kind of a scary process but um yeah it feels it feels like i'm being accepted people are gravitating and uh resonating with what we're coming with so yeah I'm, I'm excited and looking forward to uh seeing what happens next yeah yeah you've gone through so much growing up to having the cancer and now yes, your yes, dad yes. and then doing music yes, yes, what yes. do you feel like is your biggest lesson that you've learned you know from from life or, or from music anything you want to share with us um don't take it too serious mm. don't take it too serious man um I realize a, a lot of things that we don't have control over. Yeah. You know, so like I said, you got it starts with yourself. You know, your your personal health. You know what I mean? So when mm -hmm. you once you once you focus on yourself, your immediate circle, then you could the ripple effect happens in a healthy way. Yeah. Sometimes you overextend, and like if you're in the plane, for example, I was thinking about it. The crazy thing. I, did I tell you what happened? No, you were saying okay. there was like crazy shit on your way here on yeah. the plane. Yeah. So. Whoa. <laughs> Today. It's crazy. Wow. It was crazy. I was super lit. So as soon as I got on the plane, I caved, you know, I fell asleep. And I woke up to an alarm. On the yeah, plane? Yeah. Imagine waking up to an alarm <laughs> oh, on a plane. Oh this is uh, American Airlines. But anyways, <laughs> shout, out to American Airlines. shout out to American Airlines. Yo, Come sponsor us. So alarm's going off, and 
I'm getting this uh, alert on my phone saying that the, the plane is being rerouted uh, because there was a crash ahead of us. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it was scary, you know what I mean? But then I'm thinking, like, what if the, our plane was crashing? What do you do? You know what they tell you? It doesn't matter if your child's beside you. What do you do, right? You got to put on your mask first. Mm -hmm. Take care of you first so you can help others. Yeah. Right? So just bringing, leading back to the, the point, driving it home. You got to, you know, focus on yourself, you know what I mean? So that's what I'll tell anybody, and that's what I'll tell myself. That's what I learned is just kind of, you got to take care of home first. Mm. And then the ripple effect happens in a healthy way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. So how do you find balance currently in your day-to-day -day life, being a father, creating music, being a businessman? What's your feng shui? That's what it is. It's my feng shui. And I don't let nobody fuck with my feng shui, you know what I mean? And... Like, there's no one way to do it, mm. you know what I mean? So, I just do it. If it doesn't feel good, I don't do it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I just do what makes me feel good, and I, I always keep what's important at the forefront. And usually just ba bouncing each other out like that, because what feels good, right, could be just entertainment, leisure, having fun, mm -hmm. right? But then when you keep what's at the forefront, what's important, that's all the other stuff, too, all the other responsibilities, yeah. You end up in a, you get a natural balance when you when you look at it like that, I noticed. Yeah, put yourself first. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a businessman too. Well, and well, I, well, well, I, let, let's, 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 when you say put yourself first, that is, it, it sounds selfish, but you, you're, you're an extension of your family, you're an extension of your community, your friends, right? So when you, when, you, when you put yourself first, you're also putting your friends and your family first as mm. well. So we're not saying be selfish, but we're saying, you know, you got to start at the root. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was saying you're, you're a businessman as well. And yes, I see you have something here. Does that say don't fuck with my phone, Shrey? Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> actually, this is for you. Oh, shit. This, this is a small. I think this is a small. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is small. So, yeah, this is for you. Thank you. Know I mean? Let, let's open it up. Let's yeah, check it out. It let's open it up. The bags look kind of tattered. So you, so you make merch as well? Um, yeah, well, I run a multimedia company. So we do um, printing, graphic designing, um, we do photos, we do videos, audio recording. Yeah, so it's media. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Don't fuck with my feng shui. You know, the dope, nice. you know what the dope part about it is? It glows in the dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This shit glows in the dark. Yeah, it's glow in the dark. You wear that when you go on the subway, Cal. Yes, man. <laughs> on my way home tonight. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah, real shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So enjoy this that. This is fire. And then when you, when, you scan, when you scan the QR code, it goes straight to the, 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 the music. Yes, man. Uh, video, video. Make sure you check that out. Yes, please do. Video's coming soon. You know what I mean? Um... Videos, actually, it's, it's really, I don't want to give up too much, but it's it's, a, it's it's the Kill Bill theme, man. Look out for that. It, it's crazy. Yeah. That's going to be fun and super <laughs> exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we yeah. want to show them your, your next music video, but before we show them the music video, any shout-outs you'd like to give out? Y'all like to shout-out Triple D, Athletic Wear, you know what I mean? That's my sponsor. Hi. Right? Um, dedication, determination, and... Uh, What's the word? Discipline. Mm. That's the three Ds. Discipline, dedication, determination. Shout out to the homie, man. Mad love. You can um, use the promo code Billy the Kid. You can find them online. Uh, three triple D um, on IG, or you could just get at me. I'm um, the real Billy the Kid. The real B I L L I D K I D on IG, and yeah. I'd like to shout out also anybody that's supporting the movement, anybody that's pursuing their dreams, and anybody that's here today um, facilitating, facilitating this program because uh, we need platforms like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know what? I want to shout you guys out on the real way because uh, RIP to my homie, Fred the Godson. I, mm -hmm. I noticed you, he, he was, yeah, shout out to Fred. Yeah, out to Fred. Times. yeah, that's my dude, man. I have a record with Fred the Godson as well. Wow. Yeah, called Marco Polo. And um, I... I I'm in the city right now, man, and um, he was one of the few artists that reached out to me and actually showed me genuine love. You know, he was, I did a remix to um, Marvin's Room. Oh, yeah. I love that song. Yeah, so if you could check it, I, I, you could check it on the YouTube. It's called um, Don't Give a Fuck. 
um, I did the remix and he, he contacted me. He's like, I love what you did my record. And I, I would love to work, um, do something with you, you know? So, yeah, we did a record. We even uh, put together a, a freestyle, um, a battle in Toronto called uh, Bars in the Six. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man, but um, we didn't really, we were, we, he was flying over to shoot the video and host the, the um, battle. But yeah. he didn't make it over. And then shortly, uh, like a, m- a couple months sh- shortly after that, COVID happened. And uh, he succumbed to that. So, mm-hmm. uh, wow. R.I.P. to Fred. And uh, shout out to uh, his family and um, the Fred the Godson uh, Foundation. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yo, Billy the Kid, thank you so much for being here. Yo, thank you, Yo, for, thank you for sharing this exclusiveness. Oh, most video fair. City TV, you already know. Tap in. This is Billy the Kid's music video. Next up, check it's, it out. It's Billy. Bad. What up, what up? It's your boy Fred the Godson, a.k.a. Big Bronx, a.k.a. Mr. Too Fat, a.k.a. Mr. So Crazy. And you watching Video City. It's number one because the street said so. And Fred the Godson said so. Peace and love, y'all. BX. Cheers. Yeah. It's your boy Billy. Yeah. Man. Y'all know what it is, man. Spooky hours. So you niggas, I'm next up, huh? NXT, UP. Next up, yep, that's me. But I'll do it for you, not me. Because the UP, NXT, NXT, UP. Next up, yep, that's me. But I'll do it for you, not me. Because the UP, NXT, NXT, UP. Next up, yep, that's me. But I'll do it for you, not me. Because the UP. Next up, cause I'm blessed up So just a little rapper says rest up Put your bets up, cause guess what? I'm the number one type contender Got an agenda, so I can holler at Kelly Tell him I sent ya Got a new venture, I'm body get rappers From page and center Yeah, I'm next up, you up next Is that why you upset? Surprise, I ain't give up yet Yeah, mama raised a roughneck Half your rappers is suspect You guess who I can't trust that You punch me, I'm gon' punch back You ain't rob me for no lunch next Yeah, that's my money, y'all want that Ready for war, more to call back Orbit rap surround the cats Tell one scout put me on the mat Cause I'm next up, I'm next up Holla at Cat tell I'm blessed up Yeah, I'm next up, I'm next up Billy the kid, yeah, I'm next up Whoa. NXT, UP Next up, yep, that's me But I'll do it for you, not me Cause the UP NXT, NXT, UP Next up, yep, that's me But I'll do it for you, not me Cause the UP NXT, NXT, UP Next up, yep, that's me But I'll do it for you, not me Cause the UP My chest got my eight ball, cooked it up with no apron. The boys bout to blow that like napalm. Yeah, I possess what they pray for. Ain't more to say work, but I made more. I make sure I go hard. So a harsh cop a go, y'all. Why not? That's what the dough for. I break bread, plus I save more. Rubble cold nights on the lake shore. The fucking hot bitch by the seashore. Yeah, I want more, I want more. Best believe I want it all. Want all that I can fall. Once heard a man's the five boss call. That's why I never drove a Honda car. Big body whip with the baddest bra. Badass nigga, I'm a superstar. So you know what? That means I need a super call. Stay on the gas, yeah, I'm supercharged. Next up, nigga, we'll lose a draw. Check the score for a minute, score for four. Come on. I got you. NXT, UP. Next up, yep, that's me, but I'll do it for you. Not me, cause the UP. NXT, NXT, UP. Next up, yep, that's me, but I'll do it for you. Not me, cause the UP. NXT, NXT, UP. Next up, yep, that's me, but I'll do it for you. Not me, cause the UP. NXT, NXT, UP. Next up, you guess me, but I do it for you, not me, cause you UP, NXT. Welcome back to another episode of Video City TV. We're here live at the Producers Club. I'm your host, Callie Ann, and I am here with Sister Zach on the block. Welcome to Video City Hi. TV, sis. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here with you. Yeah, we're so grateful to have you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. So we just listened to your song, but before we get into that, because we're going to show them the music video, let's get to know a little bit about who you are and what you do. 
Well, my name's Sister Zach, Zakia Modest. I'm from Mount Vernon, New York, and by way of, I say Harlem, I live in Harlem. Been mm -hmm. in and out of Harlem, back and forth. My family is from Harlem. Grandfather came up to Harlem in 1912, so wow, our roots run wow, deep. Yeah. Wow, 1912. 1912, so I rep the Harlem Renaissance. I like to call myself one of the guardians of the culture of yeah. Harlem and preserving the culture and making sure we can extend it and enhance it for generations to come. So wow. I'm rooted in the culture. Wow, why when you said that, I just got the chills all over my body. Oh. I'm so happy you're here to represent. Thank you so yeah. much. The Harlem Renaissance was one of the, the pivotal um, times during our, our history where yeah. we kind of philosophized culture in the moment and we're still building upon that, that legacy and history as a place to kind of have worth and value. So yeah. I find a, a haven in the music and also I kind of I work the intersection of like you do well and this Miss Doga teacher. Oh, they right. don't know that, oh, but now they do a little bit. I think, I think it's, it's unnatural to separate these different functions of physicality and music and that they, yeah. they go together culturally yeah. you know yeah yeah so when it came to your music because I know you, you also do poetry yes so which one came first for you well really theater theater, theater. Came first. Uh, okay I've been doing theater probably since I was three years old but I did win my first poetry contest at three years old wow so I found a love and a freedom in in writing oh and wow we're at the producers club I actually was in a play here yeah where we are yes. full circle moment full circle moment so theater has always kind of been what i pulled from because you can dance in theater you can sing mm -hmm. you can write yeah so I, I find that as a, a great way to express yourself wow so how did you get into it three years is really young three years old <laughs> well i'm from mount vernon new york um shout out to pete rock cl smooth heavy d and denzel washington i actually studied with his teacher tina satin who also taught sydney poitier wow. um mount vernon is a interesting place it's small but it's rich with uh, culture it's yeah. rich in um, education and it's rich in the arts so we have a program called summer creative arts program where michael phillips saxophone player came out of there yeah um felicia richard's daughter felia came out of there I actually lived on the same street as Felicia Richard, shout out to Magnolia Avenue, and I'm um, just learning, and Debbie Allen, yeah. also they came out of their mother lived by my elementary school, so we have a summer program that teaches us all different aspects of the arts, it almost was like, it moved like a college curriculum, or, or, or like a, a high school during the summer, so you'd have morning classes, um, break, and then even, I guess afternoon classes, so I took jazz, dance, ballet, violin, um, voice, That's ceramics. That's amazing. Yeah, so, so you grew up in this. Yes, I grew up in it. Yeah, multidisciplinary artist. But I found, I think the dancing has gotten me through and around. Yeah. Right? And I um, was fortunate to get a full scholarship to University of Tennessee because I was good at track and field. I'm not going to say I didn't like it. I liked to win. Yeah. I love to <laughs> I win. Love that. So when I got to college, I was like, well, they were like, what are you, you going to major? And I was like, well, I want to major in theater. They're like, no, no, you can't do that. I was yeah. like, why not? They said, we have track meets, not plays. <laughs> right? Aww. Oh, that's cute, right? but still. Yeah, so um, I actually injured my knee, which was a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. I blew my knee out, had a hole in my bone. They had said I had a knee of a 70-year-old. We ran on concrete a lot in Mount Vernon, and I was able to cultivate, excuse me, pollen in the voice. I was able to cultivate and find like a new lane of expression through the arts. Um, I curate a festival called the Kumba Festival in Knoxville, Tennessee. Ooh. Been doing it for over, gosh, 20 years, over 20 years. Wow. We've had artists like Jagged Edge, Erica Badu, uh, Ruben Stutter, um, shout out to Dougie Fresh from Harlem, um, and, and a plethora of more, War, Gap Band, um, and the list goes on and on. So 20 years, you know, we have, we've had a lot of artists in that time. So I go back down to Knoxville, um, I, I started working with the youth and uh, from a kind of a social justice angle, arts and social justice yeah. angle, and affiliated myself with many of the, these organizations. I um, worked at a theater company called mm -hmm. Carpetbag Theater, where I kind of grew my legs and cultivated my ability to write songs and plays. We wrote a lot of plays with Carpetbag, and I go down and do a couple one-offs with them sometimes. That's really amazing. Before you go, before we show them, you should know that because they should know that. <laughs> Can you share one of your favorite pieces that you've written? Wow. Just something that can just make us feel some, anything. Okay. That first thing that comes to your mind. Love leaves its dust unexpectedly. Before your head turns, when the eyes speak, gather love like gemstone crystals. Food for my soul, happy tears and tissues. A blissful love on the inside will never miss you, but align your being to illuminate your heart, to beat outside the waves and vibrations, meeting, beaming the meaning of this love. I saw it in you.
hiding behind some words that weren't true. I was wanting to feel this love. Could it be? I felt your energy across the room like you were next to me. I couldn't make all this up. This is life. This is love. Sister Zach, everybody, Video City TV, tap in, make sure you follow Sister Zach on the block, all right? Follow her journey, and this is her music video. You should know that. If you don't know about his story, you know you will repeat it. And if you don't have a loving strategy, you will get defeated. If you don't know about his story, you know you will repeat it. And if you don't have a loving strategy, you will get defeated. You should know that. 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 My people make two thirds of the world's population. You should know that. Once upon a time, we ruled amongst the nations. You should know that. We built the land and cultivated civilization. You should know that. Now all we really want is our reparations. To the Indians they gave them. You should know that. 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 They got my Uncle Charlie locked up in prison. You should know that. Three out of five of my brothers are with him. The mother thing that we call the system you, you should know that I'ma get them out come November 22nd Do you wanna come with me to get them? Maybe we can go back you should know that And learn from the kings that sat on the throne Step aside our greatness and never be alone You, you should know that Maybe we can go back home And learn from the kings that sat on the throne Step aside our greatness and never be alone You should know that You should know that you should know that. You should know that. You should know that. You should know that. Baby, you should know that. You should know that. Maybe we can go back home. 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 They talk about the war. I'm on the nation, running and fighting and escaping. But aren't we fighting the people we came from? If we are one nation and one world, the front line is filled with blood. You should know that. We should not hate but spread our love You should know that So if you're living in sorrow Wipe your tears away for tomorrow And come up and chase all the great clouds away I pray hey You should know that 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 You should know that, you should know that. You should know that.